Hey everyone! Hello, I'm Tauberhaft. We're returning to Diablo 3 Ripper of Souls, my first run through. Currently, neither of my players have achieved level 70 and my wizard is about to do that. Actually, I regret so much that I have not participated in uh, beta or, uh, I don't know, test realm or anything like it because kind of I'm really really curious how I could see that uh, well man some players have those level 70 crusaders with uh, with like 8 million toughness over here and a damage equals to more than actually 600k that that's ridiculous I, I I'm feeling that I'm so underpowered that everything is Everything is kind of really still ahead and I'm already finishing that act I believe Looks like I have been sleeping somewhere under the log without any, without even catching a glimpse of what is happening around me. Anyways, I have what I have. I have boosted my uh, my wizard a little bit because my other characters are helping him out at the background of uh, of everything that is happening. Because they have found a couple of interesting goodies for him, that at least that assault desire, I mean the uh, the want I have got, and replaced the qual uh, the property. I I don't remember what that was. I have got that vitality, so I have managed to boost my toughness to a slight extent, and the damage. I actually thought that this would be great to have, but. Man, I have never had this much damage throughout the entire history of playing Diablo. I feel like everything is still gonna escalate and what I have currently is just worthless as compared to what I'm going to have in the future. But anyways, we're gonna run with what we have. And we're definitely gonna take on whatever happens next in this act, so... Let's run forwards! Oh, that seems like a battle. No dead angels, though. Do I recognize the place? Well, actually not, currently. It does not look all that much like uh, the battleground between angels and demons. Like those plains of anguish. I'm not sure what the name of location and the uh, lost... Not lost, but the city of the damned from Diablo 3... Oh, from Diablo 2, yeah. Hello, Imperius! We meet again, or yet again, whose wings are better. There is a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there, and I will show you what must be done. Ooh, siege camp. So you have besieged... You basically have besieged the Pandemonium Fortress. Well, we have been fighting and having a base out there in the Pandemonium... Pandemonium Fortress, but now it appears everything has become different. We are supposed to take... Oh, what is happening? Oh, man! Imperius, have you done that? Whoa! Having grown accustomed to the taste of war, they remained in Pandemonium long after the last siege of the fortress ended. Now, they regard the realm as their own and terrorize any angels who venture onto the battlefields. No more. No more terror. Chaotic realm. Nephilim has come. And many demons remain scattered throughout it. In particular, the war-scarred marauders were unwilling to return to the Hells, and they have taken to pillaging the remaining angelic outposts in the battlefields. They may not be the most powerful of their kind, but they are clever and insidious, and no strangers to war. <laughs> Some ghostly towers falling down, just because they're holding on mere... Oh, whoa, that, that one looks nice. What is that? War Scared Ravager. I know that the monster model is all the same. I have already seen it plenty of times. Whoa! Imperius, stop doing my job. I do everything for you. What is that? 
The Imperius! You're holding me back, actually. Why? I could have done it myself. You know what? It's my question. When someone had to fight Diablo himself, I was supposed to say, Am I supposed to be doing everything for you, Imperius? You tried to take on Diablo and you failed miserably. I thought something was to be learned, but hey, you angels never learn, apparently. And you claim that you are better than, uh, than the Nephilim or the demons? Ha <laughs> ha! Hardly. It's eternal conflict, after all. Demons are bad, angels are good. That's the alleged truth about life, but hey! Imperius, you're here again. Well then. Is a drone. Bring... Where is a sea drone? Am I supposed to be bringing something with me? I'm not sure. Abandoned siege camp. There's Imperius. And I'm gonna be breaking some things. Break it down! Oh yeah, well I have forgotten to say that apparently that flawless Imperial gem is Remotely, not the strongest gem in the game. My bad. I was convinced that, they, uh, that, they, uh, that this was the top gem, but hey. I'm miserable at wild guesses. I'm miserable at them. Apparently, this game still has a lot more in store for me. Do you see the battering ram below? That is the only way you can breach the fortress gates. But it is useless without the siege runes that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. Oh, very you well. You find them on the battlefield below, in prison along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the runes, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Yeah? Even if you release Malthael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. Of course you won't. That's part of your charm. <laughs> Brilliant. I like it so much. It's so charming. Isn't he like Prince Charming of the Heavens, dear Imperius? Is that what is called Valor? Apparently, Valor does not presuppose any gratitude along with it. I am stronger still. Yay! Congratulations, Tauberhaft! You have finally achieved level 70. That means two things. First, I can now orient at the things I'm dropped, because that is the shape I'm supposed to run with throughout the entire the entire life of my uh, Nephilim over here. And... This is what I have wa uh, been waiting for quite a long time. I can now use four passive it's skills it's in the row. It is calling me. Calling what am I supposed to use? I mean, I have blur. These are not too much useful. I'm not using... Oh, maybe that one. Evocation. That's, of, uh, th that's the thing I'm considering. Now, Prodigy. I'm not lacking any arcane power over here currently. Illusionist, no arcane power, cult blooded, I'm not using cult skills, conflagration, paralysis, nothing of interest over here. As long as you aren't taking damage in five seconds, oh man, that's stupid. If you are not taking damage in five seconds, that means usually you're on the run, miserably failing to the monster's onslaught. Oh, Temporal Flux, that slows them, but hey, I'm a close combat wizard after all. Dominance, though? Killing an enemy grants a shield that absorbs... Oh, killing an enemy? Well, that's interesting thing to use after all, but still I'm considering it. Killing an enemy, and I'm not, struggle I'm not struggling versus uh, regular mobs, I'm struggling versus... Boss packs and, uh, and elites and everything like it. Arcane Dynamo. That's, is it a... Ah, I'm not using it. Alright, I'm not using it. 
So I might wish to use it someday. And what is also interesting thing to do, maybe our elemental exposure, but later as I get various elements, but not focusing on one. So the main choice is between Arcane Dynamo, actually returning it back to power up those uh, ridiculous arcane orbs I have, or getting unwavering will, but I do think that this thing is not that of use, because as long as I'm fighting boss packs, this will not basically allow me to stand in one place actually attacking them, so I'm returning arcane dynamo to my devices. Very nice, now I can power up the orbs and go onwards. Maybe... Oh, just... I understand... Oh, God, what is this? What is this thing? Oh, that's even curious. All right. Go fall to the abyss. I don't care. So, what, I, what I'm... What I'm thinking about... I suspect that the barred lurker is part demon, for its appearance has an aspect far too sinister to occur naturally. It expels a noxious poison worthy of the hells, and from what I can tell, it will only feed on its own kind or the corpses of demons. One hopes it will never encounter a human. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, about hearing Kane's voice, what I think about is why are these monsters running from me? Aren't they? So Look, why is he running? Oh, he's taking on his own brethren. Let's curious. Whoa! I got a nice damage boost. Why are you running? Stop running! <laughs> You're running from a Nephilim. Aren't you supposed to defend your master? Or whoever that is. You don't like literally serve Malthael, I suppose, but still. Oh, they have become a little stronger. Oh, he he's retaining his form back. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting thing that. to consider. Boom, he's dead. Finally. Heal. What is that? Th these are his minions. Okay. Is that all? Brilliant. Well, at least they have not been all that terrible to encounter. Oh, events now. The hive. Investigate. The hive cluster? <laughs> really? <laughs> Am I supposed to encounter zerg waves around there? Come on, zerglings. Or maybe I'm supposed to fight against some mass muta or uh, anything else like that. Oh, now I get it. He's running away because he's... He's running away because those uh, little monsters seek to retain their fortified form. What is this? Is that some Nidus worm supposed to come up against me? Or something else like it? What's about the hive? I, I I think that I'm missing something. Oh, that's some sort of a uh, cursed stuff. Well, I'm not activating until I finish my businesses with the remainder of local citizens. Hello. Actually, those are a lot. Well, that place does not does not look all that. Oh, what is that? A Nidus worm, finally! Oh, that looked all like it. <laughs> Thank God it didn't start actually vomiting Zergs at me. Oh, even more. Well, okay. Probably I'm supposed to take my words back for a while. That does not look like a Nidus worm. What well, looks like a Nidus Worm is actually that monster from Act 3 that used to uh, 
grab on top of the walls and start vomiting demons like this. What, what are they called again? I don't remember, just like uh, the way I used to play Diablo. Why should I care about the monster names? They're all going to die after all. I'm supposed to kill five waves of monsters just as usual. Are you supposed to take on me? Second wave. Defeat all waves. Oh no, I hate these guys. I hate them. That will be a lot time consuming. Come on. Don't run away. You're a bad mister. You are a very bad guy. Come on! Ah, oh, I'm not doing that already! Yeah, that felt miserable. Because these guys are running, I cannot do anything about that. They're kind of really, really fast running away. And my skill paradigm is not remotely appropriate for the situation. So that was stupid. That, that was just a, That was just in no words a fail. Okay, we're ready for the failings. Boom! Get sucked into it and die. Oh, actually, they did die quite fast. Is it because the dam because of the damage boost I got? You see, my opinion currently is, even though I got the damage boost because I got that new weapon finally, but the thing is. If you want to farm such things as uh, cursed chests or those shrines out there, you're supposed to pick locations properly, because some locations would just contain a lot and a lot of those monsters that will be constantly running from you instead of actually fighting you. Well, that basically means that you will not get that additional chest out there. And that's what the game is trying to do. It's not about the monster's nature. It's like, hey, look at them. Look what they're doing. They're not even fighting. Aren't they supposed to be some kind of a bloodthirsty demonic horde craving blood? No, not remotely. They don't want blood. They want you to lose the game. Or lose the opportunity to get some buffs or something like it. The Blizzard Entertainment, man, they they kind of have a huge history of making such games that are no player friendly. The Blizzard games are normally a challenge. There are there is always a challenge. I mean, maybe there's supposed to be a different sort of challenge all the time, whether it is a uh, some kind of psychological pressure or it is just a very very difficult monster packs that you're supposed to fight but nevertheless blizzard have never ever given their games too simple like that there is a lot actually to consider or you're just wasting time because if you if you drop that difficulty level too much you basically are not getting that experience where are the... Who, who are the bosses? I... Ah, oh, these are... Okay, gotcha. Oh, where is that? Where did that go? Well, I just missed that, really. Boom, boom, boom. I got Arcane Dynamo back. You're not getting it all that easy. Get sucked. Here we go, actually. My black hole has not disappointed me quite yet. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the blizzard actually presupposed that the players are, uh, are to use those special abilities that are gained after level 60. Because so far, those abilities have proved useful. What is that thing? Whoa! I was supposed to know about that! Who are you? 
I'm guessing you're not supposed to step on me. Ooh. Gargantuan there. Oh, don't you even try. Oh, he is actually trying to attack me. the outskirts of Pandemonium, a lumbering giant with a gaping hollow at its core. Somehow, it can hide its body away, disguising itself as a mere portal. Those who pass through it are trapped in a distant world, never to be seen again. Oh, that reminds me of, uh, of Act 5 of Diablo 2. I mean... You were supposed to navigate through the remains of the city. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Has someone... Oh, that looks almost like... Uh, someone has been trying to vomit through the portal and check if the... If the liquid goes through the gate. <laughs> or... Or if not, it actually looks like... Uh, Portal 2, if you remember those trials with the paint. The of Pandemonium in Kane's old writings. He journeyed there 20 years ago to help a band of heroes seal away the prime evils, and his discoveries appear to have shaken him deeply. Sometimes he would stare outside the fortress walls, and winged beasts would appear, caught on his name. Didn't see that coming, did you? Very nice. Now oh, that's actually very nice. I don't think those... <laughs> I don't think the developers actually invented too much after all, because they have just made a lot and a lot of gigantic locations. Didn't see that coming, did you? Well, am I supposed to kind of uh, get those siege runes? And if they're hidden in such places... Anyways, I will try to get those runes as fast as possible, but hey, there's a lot of stuff to do. And a lot of monsters to kill, a lot of monsters to slaughter. Well, there's actually not too much about this. Oh, who, who are you? Vargoth. Actually, I like the way mo the way Blizzard sometimes call them monsters because there's a lot of references, for example, to those like of the Lord of the Rings. Even if Diablo One, there was a monster called called Balrog. If you if you have seen those, that those those went further and returning into Dia in Diablo Two and. Uh, Next, they were returning in Diablo 3 as well. I believe there are monsters called Balrogs. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we have to throw away or what we have to keep for ourselves. I kind of like those a lot. That brings dead lot of toughness, but that decreases damage as well. And I don't think this is the properties that are supposed to be on Amulet, though. Well, that's already better, all things considered. Reduces cooldown and reduces all resource costs. Anyways, I don't have anything in particular on my uh, shoulders, so that's definitely better. I mean, why? Seemingly... Ah, it's just only because of the vitality it has, right? Only because of the vitality. Very well, I'm getting that. That actually looks not too great. I... well... It's all up to the taste, I guess. Is it of level 70 already? Oh yeah, baby. It is. And what is that? Oh, that's miserable. I don't think those boots are needed either. Or anything like it. Called skills. Well, that's basically all trash. That's the way I see it. And about these things, maybe I will just keep them over here just to see whether other characters need those anytime soon.
And we are returning into action. Well, that seems all silent. And those tiny monsters, they are up to nothing. They're basically up to nothing. Do they even give me any experience or... Uh, well, they never... They never drop any items because they're tiny. I mean, hey, the chance of dropping from them is not too much. I guess it's it's like a, it's like trying to ask somebody for snow in the middle of a winter. I mean, yeah. I mean, hey, there are countries that doesn't that don't see too much snow, even in the middle of the winter. But over here, where I actually leave, there is plenty of snow. No, but basically nobody asks for that, and that's kind of a, a sort of saying. If someone is greedy, we usually say, hey, you could never ask him for snow in the middle of the winter or something like it. I'm so good, I astound myself. Oh yeah, he is good after all. Anyways, even even if my wizard is weak, even if this game is kind of badly balanced and everything like it, I still like wizard. I like that class. Diablo actually has undergone a lot, a lot of various changes, a lot of balance changes, and I have been over here almost kind of wholeheartedly devoted to my wizard all the time. Even when he was miserably weak. And there were such times, like a lot throughout the game. I have been complaining back in the day. Hey, how you dare, Blizz? Wizard see seems like a weakest class ever. Oh, of course I don't think so anymore. I don't think that way. I have overcome this. It's like... As I have already mentioned that a lot of times, complaining is simply not competitive. It means you don't want actually to play the game. You are supposed to... get something from that game and nothing else. You're not enjoying it, you're supposed to... Eh, the game is supposed to throw all the goodies and riches at you just because you want that. And that is not happening. Ooh, really? Well, I don't like that thing about the thunderstorm. Actually, I find that thunderstorm thing quite devastating shit. So the portal has disappeared. Very well. Am I supposed to find other portals as well? Is somebody shooting fire arrows at me? I mean, hey, I understand that those are not fire arrows, come on. But that's a great idea. Can I use my portal? No. Apparently... Apparently, there are a lot and a lot of new locations, but after all... That privilege the wizard usually the wizards usually have making those portal jumps to the long distances is not that effective because those narrow spaces and and the discrepancy in the level of spaces as well it's like this platform is a little higher those two to the left and to the right are lower oh this is where i'm supposed to go the only thing remaining. Some more stupid monsters trying to take on a mighty Nephilim. Oh, that's a bad idea. Who is yelling? Uh, is it is it that winged? I I didn't manage to read that anyway. 
Trap Marauder. Why are they so gray? Looks like just like Marauder from StarCraft 2, but a little bit overgrown one. Come on, stop it. Oh, here you are. I are trying to kind of defend the portal out there. Whoa, I dealt quite the damage to them. I like I have like obliterated them. Oh, <laughs> that's are you, are you serious? It's like a tiny bit of damage that I had. And that last passive ability made me actually quite stronger. What have I been doing over here? Why have I even entered this place? I hope that I am not missing something. What is this? Let's, let's actually go ahead and see right away. Oh god. Another Nidus Worm. Which is no Nidus Worm. But who cares? Ooh. That seems weird. All things considered. What is the event? The war? The time forgot. Boom! What have I done? Oh, that's what the Nephilim does. <laughs> you know, some creatures are battling one another. Hey, we are against everything. Are they supposed to run in front of us like this? Volux of the Forgotten. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. Get over here. <laughs> it's dancing. <laughs> I, uh, I love it. Look look at the way they're usually dancing when they're throwing that black hole at. Good dancing there. Wherever you were. Are you dead already? Oh, I'm supposed to kill another guy too. Yeah, sure. I got it. I got it. Errorless. Well, you dance too. No, you're not that much of a dancer. Alright, alright. That looks a lot interesting. That did look a lot and a lot captivating. Does that actually mean I'm uh, kind of authorized to have infinite farming location over here? Oh, those mo tiny monsters do not... do not grant you any experience. Well, that's a question. I'm supposed to get another siege rune, right? So, there will be a similar battle over there, as far as I can make out. Whoa, what has happened? Why, why are you jumping? It's because of your own excitement, dear wizard. Probably. And what is this? Where does that go? The ram is here. But I can't use it until I have all the siege runes it needs. Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to navigate over here just right after I finish with the siege runes. Well, perfect. Very well. I'm doing it as soon as possible. Right in the beginning of the following episode of my run through Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Oh yeah, I cannot wait. I'm growing impatient. I want to kill Malthael. I... Uh, Am I killing him or just freeing him from his curse or something? Okay. See you soon, ladies and gentlemen. Signing out for now.